What's up, y'all? Um, so I just I've got a Ford Edge 2013 uh, with the 3.5 liter um, V6, and it's been having you know problems with a long hard crank at the start, um, and it you know has been going on for a while and still reliably starts up every time, but just it seems like it's been getting longer and longer. Um, but you know still reliably does fire up, so that that was a good thing, but it was just kind of getting me nervous. So went ahead and did some investigation uh, and things were pointing towards it being a fuel pump issue. Uh, as the tank was getting lower with gas, it was starting a little bit harder each time. So um, went in and decided to go and do a fuel pump replacement. So there's a right way to do it. And then this way, if you want to see the right way, you probably go should watch another video. This one, we're going to hacksaw or, you know, cut our way through the floor of the car underneath the back seat and then kind of patch it up. So if you want to see that, you know, take a look and don't roast me too much in the comments. Um, you know, my car, I would never do this for somebody at a shop, but, you know, quick and dirty way to get the job done without needing to get it up on a scissor lift and drop the axle and uh, be able to get the fuel tank dropped. So, um, in the 2012 and earlier versions of this car, they had a quick access panel underneath the back seat that you could just um, look in and do this part real quick. Um, but 2013 on, all they gave you was this little plug here. So this is actually a video post full job. Um, so that's my kind of crummy patch job there. But underneath this back seat is where that's located. Um, you pull out that plug and you should be able to notice it. Um, so yeah, here's the video. Hopefully it helps somebody out. I'm here in the back seat. I'm gonna st actually start by removing a bolt underneath here and then that back one. Uh, there's size 19 uh, millimeter bolts, I think. So first we have to pry up uh, this little plastic piece. I just used my, my pry tool and it uh, came right up. That's kind of what you're looking at. You got three clips on either side there. Um, then, you know, use, use your 19 mil and we'll get that removed and I'll see you when I have that done. Okay, so that got that side all loosened up. Now over here, this one's a little taller and I don't have the, the deep socket um, hex set. So I'm going to pull this little plastic nub off first and then just use a standard wrench to get that off. Okay, so now that those bolts are out, um, you're going to kind of lift and then swing this leg out um, and then it should should be able to lift up so sorry for the crappy camera work lift and then push that out so it can get around the other seat and then everything swings up here so then you'll find some way to prop that and then we can get to work down here All right, so here's where we stand on the job. Ended up taking both of the seats up just to pull this cover back a little. Then we took some old school tin snips and started from this drain plug, went out, and then just folded things up. Then we used a punch to just hammer on each of these sides and took a lot of work, but you know, just keep rotating around to each of these um, going. You were, you were trying to push this counterclockwise to loosen it up. Now we're gonna unplug things, vacuumed it up, and then lift it out. All right, so for your electrical connection, we're just gonna squeeze on the back here, and this should lift up pretty easy. There's a little tab there. Tuck that out of the way. And then I already kind of got these tabs loose, but on the back end of the, the plug, you'll see that um, it pulls out and then expect that's going to be loose. Same thing with here. Took a little screwdriver, popped that out, and now uh, we're ready to pull these pull these plugs off. So expect it might have some drip, so just have some towels and stuff nearby. All right, so each of these EVAP and fuel lines, they gave me some trouble. We had popped the retainer out real easy, but then didn't quite go. So when you peeked down here, you could see that the blue side uh, was, you know, more heavily shifted towards one. So I'm going to pull that out all the way, come in with 
um, some kind of instrument and just center that center that ring from the inside and then it should pull right off pretty easy okay so I think it's gonna come here so yeah just use your tool to recenter that I'm gonna leave it just slightly in place until I'm ready do the same over here and now this should come off as well okay so we're gonna be ready for some spillage so just get your towels and tools ready to go a little coming out of this blue hose okay so here we're gonna try and tuck this out of the way completely undo that lock ring that we loosened earlier lift that portion off and out of the way and here we should just lift and now keep in mind there is a float on here um, so it's not gonna be just a, a straight lift out. okay all right so here I guess we forgot about this there's a, a little hose attached to the underside of the fuel pump and we're just gonna try and I think uh, some of the videos online said it was a quick connect. I think it might just be a hose. All right, sorry y'all. I couldn't get good on film how to uh, remove this. It was kind of a battle. This is supposed to be a quick connect, this kind of yellowish piece down there. Man, it, it fought us, but we went in with a, a long skinny screwdriver and actually from uh, the, the probably backside of it, uh, pushed each of those two prongs kind of out and in and that released that clip. So now that that's disconnected, um, we're gonna be able to just, I think, lift it up. So I'll see you once that's done. All right, so we've basically got the job done here. Um, once we dropped in the new fuel pump, reconnected everything, took some of this waterproof asphalt sealant um, and, you know, put it in a kind of cock gun here and just, uh, you know, filled all the seams anywhere that I could. Pretty generous with the application and don't think that there should be any moisture or fuel vapors or anything coming up through uh, this region. You know, again, this is under the seat, not too concerned about somebody stepping through. Um, and to anybody telling me that I'm going to die because I got a loose panel of uh, metal in the back of my car to each their own. Um, so... I guess with that, uh, cheers y'all. Thanks for watching and hopefully this can help someone out.